What's going on, everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, www.lockdownsecurity.ca, and I am bringing you another news report video of something that unfortunately happened uh, either yesterday or just a few days ago. And thankfully, uh, it looks like nobody was hurt, but unfortunately, a uh, relatively new Lamborghini was stolen. And it was done so in a very organized way. And I want to go through uh, the two articles that I read about this. And then I want to go through uh, solutions that we sell that would have kept this Lamborghini in the possession of the owner. And these solutions can be used not only on Lamborghinis, but on any make or vehicle. And I want to talk to you about why. Um, in today's day and age, you should be using either all three of these solutions, which would uh, pretty much make the vehicle not only very difficult to steal, but very likely that you would get it back if somebody stole it in any number of different theft methods. But also, um, the, the fact of the matter is that in today's day and age, uh, unfortunately, and this is not a knock against law enforcement and our judicial judicial system, but the chances are more than likely that this vehicle is never going to be recovered. And even if it was to be recovered, uh, prosecuting the thieves, putting them in jail, uh, doing anything against the thieves in terms of law enforcement or judicial system won't stop this issue. What will stop this issue is anti-theft measures. So without further ado, let me get into the article so that we can determine what happened. So you'll see here, Lamborghini stolen during test drive uh, near Waterloo, Ontario, say police. A high-end sports car was allegedly stolen during a test drive in Wilmot Township, just outside Kitchener, Waterloo. The owner told Waterloo Regional Police that he was trying to sell the black Lamborghini Aventador online and add an auto trader listed it for $600,000 Canadian, which is insane. That is a very expensive vehicle. Uh, he had agreed to meet a prospective buyer on Tuesday just before 2 p.m. in a parking lot at Notre Dame Drive and Herbs Road in St. Agatha, which is obviously a suburban area near Waterloo, Ontario. Uh, a male suspect pulled up in a white Mercedes Maybach, or Maybach, said police, with other passengers in the vehicle. He then asked to take the Lamborghini for a test drive. According to the owner, the suspect was allowed to sit inside the vehicle while the keys were still inside. Police said he closed the door of the Lamborghini and sped off towards Waterloo with the Mercedes following close behind. Now, um, I had heard, not in the article, but I had heard that the vehicle was pursued and that the vehicle was equipped with a GPS tracking device, which I am going to talk about. I am going to suggest a GPS tracking device would have been able to save this vehicle or at least recover it. Uh, but... I'm going to talk about the GPS tracking device in a different way than what was more than likely equipped on this vehicle. I also read a report or heard a report that the vehicle's GPS tracking device had been disabled and that there was a pursuit by police, but that they gave up the pursuit because this Lamborghini reached excessive speeds and it was a public safety risk. Of course, it reached excessive speeds because it is a Lamborghini after all. Um, so let me go through the second article. And the second article is basically the same thing. Thief speeds off with Lamborghini Aventador in Wilmot as owner left watching. As you can see, it was posted on March 6th. Today is March 7th. Uh, so this happened, as I mentioned, on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, this article basically states the same, the same thing. They say a man had arranged a meeting in a parking lot near Notre Dame Drive and Herbs Road to sell his black Lamborghini Aventador and that he had listed online for sale. So essentially, as you will see, uh, this one goes into details about what the value of a Lamborghini Aventador is, 379000 uh, all the way up to $1.6 million, which obviously is a very valuable and a very beautiful vehicle. So uh, without further ado, let me get into some of the protection options that I suggest people with a Lamborghini Aventador go with. Now, the first thing that I'm going to suggest is one of our anti-theft systems. Which one? Well, I would recommend either the Auto Watch Ghost or the Starline I-96, or we have another option. It's not on our website. It is called the Starline E9. What are these systems? These systems are digital anti-theft devices. And while they probably, and I'm going to say this, they probably wouldn't have prevented this theft that was in the article uh, with regards to somebody test driving the vehicle and already having the key, they would protect a vehicle like the Lamborghini Aventador in the event that somebody came to the home or to a parking lot and tried to steal the vehicle. So this would be what I consider layer number one. 
And keep in mind at the beginning of this video, I said I was going to talk about three solutions. So we're going to call these from now on layers. So there's layer number one, layer number two, layer number three. And these digital anti-theft devices would be layer number one. What do they protect against? They protect against somebody stealing the vehicle through relay theft, through can injection attack, through spoofed key fobs, through hot wiring, even though hot wiring really doesn't happen anymore, but these devices would protect against those methods of theft. Okay, what would be layer number two? Well, layer number two would be a theft recovery device, specifically tag tracking. Why I recommend tag as layer number two is while tag will not prevent the vehicle from being stolen in, in any shape, way, or form, whether it is through uh, all of those methods of theft that I already talked about, or whether it's through carjacking or violent uh, car theft, or in this case, what I call car sale jacking, uh, what TAG will do is give you the capability of, once you file the police report, having an actual vehicle recovery team assigned to go out and find the vehicle. And why that's important is that at that point, you're not relying solely upon law enforcement to go recover your vehicle. I'm not saying that law enforcement wouldn't recover your vehicle if assigned. But what I am saying is that law enforcement have a lot on their plate enforcing all of the laws for the entire society. So they may, may not be in a rush to go and recover a stolen vehicle. Not only that, there may be situations where they can't legally recover a vehicle without a warrant. So that's where you get into situations where if you have a dedicated recovery team who have a relationship with law enforcement, that may assist you greatly in getting your vehicle back. And as you can see, we sell this at $399.99 installed. This is insurance approved. So there are many insurance companies that will actually either mandate or give you a significant insurance premium discount for installing tag. So that's layer number two. Now, full disclosure, a tag is not going to prevent the vehicle from being stolen. And obviously, there are going to be times where even with a tag on your vehicle, the vehicle is not going to be recovered. What are those, ta those times? Well, let me tell you a, a quick brief story. And this is a story that's been in the media. In fact, even Pierre Polyev, the leader of the Conservative Party, and even Doug Ford, our uh, Ontario Premier here in Ontario, Canada, have discussed similar things. Essentially, if your vehicle gets stolen here in Canada, what can happen is this. If you have a vehicle recovery device on your vehicle, or if somehow you are able to determine the location of your stolen vehicle, it can be in places like a rail yard, a shipping yard, uh, a port, and you can literally be staring at your vehicle on the other side of the port or the shipping yard's fence. And even if the police are there, you are not able to recover it. And then what happens is that vehicle will eventually get loaded on the container and shipped out of the country. And you may ask, well, that sounds insane. Why would that be? Well, the issue is when you're in these secure facilities like ports and shipping yards, generally for the police to go into that yard and recover a vehicle, they would need a search warrant or they would need permission from the Canadian customs authorities. And unfortunately, while they are able to get that permission, it doesn't come quick enough uh, before the vehicle gets shipped out. So that's one of the, the limitations of vehicle recovery systems is sometimes the vehicle can be located and you could be staring at the vehicle and you still can't get it back. And there are numerous stories out there and videos and news reports of people that are tracking their vehicle in places like Dubai, uh, Nigeria, Russia, other places in the world. They're still tracking their vehicles, but they were unable to recover them. And once they're shipped out of the country, good luck. It's almost impossible to recover the vehicle. So that brings me to my next point, which is layer number three. And this is what would have saved the Lamborghini that was in these news reports. So here's the Lamborghini again to refresh your memory. Layer number three is GPS based, but it's something that's unique to lockdown that we offer. And why is it unique? Well, we offer the Amber AC410 GPS tracking system. And you're gonna ask, well, what is so unique about the Amber AC410? Well, let me show you a picture here. This is the app on your phone of the Amber GPS system. What is unique? It's this big red button marked SOS. 
And you may be asking, well, what is the SOS button? The SOS button is exactly what it looks like. It's an emergency button that you can push on the app. And the way that it's designed out of the box to be connected is it's designed to be uh, connected to a starter kit, okay? And actually you'll see here, I just noticed on this uh, app picture, there's an immobilize button. So you're, you're gonna have the choice of pushing the SOS or the immobilize button, and it will do essentially the exact same thing. What will that be? That will be immobilize. And as I was saying, out of the box, Amber suggests that the immobilizer relay that comes with this device be connected to the starter motor, which obviously, full disclosure, that's the safest method of hooking up an immobilizer is to immobilize the starter. However, in the case of this Lamborghini or in the case of car jackings, car sale jackings, violent car theft, uh, immobilizing the starter doesn't matter. It's, it's useless because the car's already running. And in this case of the Lamborghini, the vehicle was able to be started and driven away. So once it leaves that area where the owner is, it's gone. And if you immobilized it with a starter kill, it doesn't matter. It will only be immobilized once they shut the vehicle down. And by that time, it's too late. So what do we do at lockdown? We hook this up to a fuel system or ignition system. And essentially, we provide the ability to remotely shut the vehicle down while it is in motion. Now, full disclosure, we do not recommend that you shut down a vehicle that's in motion. How do you tell if it's in motion? Well, that's where this app comes into play. You'll see that there is a speed indicator. So you can see exactly on a map where the vehicle is. My information tells me that this Lamborghini obviously was stolen from the Waterloo area. That's what this article states. It got all the way into the Mississauga, Toronto area before the GPS trackers that were on this vehicle went dark. What does that mean? That means that either the thieves were able to load it into a shipping container, which blocked the GPS tracking signals, or they got it to a secure facility where they were able to disconnect the GPS trackers. How did they do that? Probably by disconnecting the vehicle battery. I mean, I have no idea what was actually installed in this Lamborghini with regards to GPS trackers, whether they were battery operated, whether they ran on the vehicle battery. I don't know that information, but somehow, the thieves were able to disable the GPS trackers that were on this vehicle. So you may ask, well, if I had an Amber, wouldn't that be the same thing? No, because what would have happened if this vehicle had an Amber GPS with our remote engine shutdown, the owner of the Lamborghini Aventador would have been able to pull out his phone and immobilize the vehicle and actually shut it down before the vehicle had a chance to make it to the highway to make its escape. And we have documented proof, we have customers that we have done this for, and essentially it has saved their vehicles. We have one customer with a brand new Ford Raptor. We installed this exact setup in Amber AC 410 with the remote shutdown. And what happened with his vehicle, it was stolen twice. And both times he got it back literally without even calling the police by utilizing his remote shutdown on his Amber tracker that we had installed. How did that happen? Well, the first time it was stolen, actually it's the same story both times, they came to this gentleman's home. His Ford Raptor was parked on the driveway. It's too big for his garage. His bedroom was on the second floor overlooking the driveway and the, his particular Raptor had an aftermarket exhaust. So it was quite loud when it started up. So he was sleeping, the owner of this Raptor, and around two or three in the morning, he heard the noise of his truck starting. Now, obviously he's in bed, He's not the one starting it. Nobody else has the keys. He looks at his window. He sees a car thief stealing his truck. What does our customer do? He literally grabs his phone from his nightstand, opens up the Amber app, hits immobilize, and literally less than a kilometer down the road at a stop sign in his subdivision, in his neighborhood, he was able to go and recover his vehicle with everything intact. Now, there was a bit of damage done to the vehicle from the thief getting into the truck, but he retained his vehicle. And this happened a second time, and he was able to save it at that point. Now, this happened uh, on a Raptor that did not have one of our digital anti-theft devices on there. This particular client opted to only use the Amber GPS tracking as his uh, theft prevention measure. It worked. And obviously, if we had a Starline, an Auto Watch Ghost, or equivalent digital anti-theft system, the truck would never have even left his driveway. 
And if you think about it, if he had had a car alarm, which I didn't consider as layer one, two, or three, uh, he may have even not suffered any damage to the truck because as soon as the thieves attempted to access it, it would have triggered the alarm. Now, I haven't talked about that in this video because I want to talk about layer one, layer two, layer three, and essentially combining those three layers to essentially prevent any type of car theft. And in this particular case, it, I, I have a very, very strong suspicion that we would have been able to get this car back for this customer. I'm really sorry to hear that this Aventador was stolen. It must pain the owner of the vehicle so much, uh, having a high value vehicle like that stolen. I hope insurance will, will make him whole again. And by all means, I hope they recover this, this vehicle. But this is an issue that's been happening so much uh, as of late. It shows no signs of slowing down, but let me tell you, lockdown security offers you the solutions, the layered solutions, so that this type of thing doesn't happen to you and you don't become a statistic and you don't get your name or your vehicle in the local news because the vehicle stays your own. What we want to see, we want to see our customers in the news because the systems and the measures that they installed on their vehicle saved their vehicle. And we sell those solutions and we have those solutions here at Lockdown Security. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really hope we don't have to make any more about this, but I guarantee you there'll probably be another news article out tomorrow. So you'll hear from me again. We are here to protect your vehicle. That's our sole mission when it comes to securing your car, making sure it stays in your driveway, stays in your parking lot, gets recovered if it's stolen and does so in the safest manner possible without violence, without even getting the police involved. We have the technology to do that for you. And we would love to uh, go through that technology with you on any vehicle that you drive. 1-866-824-4118, lockdownsecurity.ca, sales at lockdownsecurity.ca. And here on our YouTube channel is where we can provide you all the details you need to secure your vehicle. Lamborghinis, Toyotas, Lexus, Mercedes, you name it, we can secure here at Lockdown Security. Thank you for watching this video. And if you could hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, it goes a long way to help us make more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.